This week, our all-star student comes from Cathedral High School in St. Cloud. I have been on the student council here at Cathedral since freshman year. This is Eli Stark Haas. He was his class's president his freshman, sophomore, and junior year, paving his way to lead student council. So junior year, I ran for executive council, which four members get elected to run the whole council. Emmett Keenan is the student senate advisor at Cathedral. He describes Eli as a dedicated and hard-working student. He cares about the success of others around him, and we see that as well in, in the sports that he's involved with, in the leadership he's involved with in the school. It's important to him to make sure that he's helping others be successful as well. Every year I just kept coming back because I had a really fun time doing it, and it was really fun to be a part of the council and help the school. Eli says he has learned how to effectively manage his time, and that's a good thing because his involvement doesn't stop at student council. I make sure I have time to go watch my fellow students in their sports and cheer them on. He's a member of our cross-country team. He's also a, a manager slash student coach on our gymnastics team that's combined with Tech High School. And then he also plays uh, tennis for us in the spring. He is the ultimate team player. Fred Rupp is the cross-country head coach. He says Eli is a remarkable young man. Uh, he's been on my team for four years, and all four years he's been a star in a couple of ways. One way, he's, he's a very gifted runner. The other is he's perpetually enthusiastic. I'm also a student ambassador. It seems that Eli's time and abilities are endless. This year, Cathedral has over 30 exchange students from different countries around the world. So I'm glad that I'm a student ambassador and we help the exchange students feel welcome and really feel like they are comfortable here at Cathedral. Eli Starkos, WJON's All-Star Student of the Week. At Cathedral High School, I'm Joshua Ackerman, WJON News.